Welcome to Taiwan News. I'm Viet Cường. Following are today's headlines. Taiwan joins the Investment Promotion Conference in Guangling Province. Announcement of Taiwan's Annual Provincial Competitiveness Index PCI 2011. Taiwan boosts investment on infrastructure for boarding schools. On February the 24th, Guangling People's Committee, in cooperation with the Ministry of Planning and Investment, held the Investment Promotion Conference 2012 with the theme, Guangling Convergence and Pervasiveness. The conference honorably welcomed Prime Minister Nguyen Tân Dũng. Joining this big event was Taiwan delegation led by Mr. Phạm Xuân Đương. Secretary of the Provincial Party Committee. In his very informative speech, Prime Minister Nguyễn Tân Dũng said that Vietnam will continue to maintain the regional growth rate this year, decrease the inflation to fewer than 10%, and gradually lower in the years to come, create favorable conditions for investors to work long term in Vietnam. Quang Ninh's leaders, in turn, shared with the leaders of other provinces experiences in attracting investment including approaching, holding investment conferences, creating friendly investment policies, drawing FDI, ODA capitals, and private investment. The Investment Promotion Conference in Guangning, which is considered the biggest one to date, was held considerately, methodically, and professionally. This is a good occasion for Taiwan delegation to view, learn, and get experiences in holding investment promotion activities in the future, such as the conference to announce plans and promote investment in Yenbing Industrial Service Agricultural Complex, the conference to promote investment in Taiwan City and some other districts in 2012. On February the 23rd in Hanoi, Vietnam Chamber of Commerce and Industry, VCCI, in cooperation with the U.S. Agency for International Development, USAID, and USAID's Vietnam Competitiveness Initiative, relapsed Vietnam Annual Provincial Competitiveness Index PCI. Mr. Zhu Ngoc Long, Chairman of Taiwan People's Committee, attended the ceremony. The PCI 2011 surveyed 7,000 Vietnamese businesses across all 63 cities and provinces. It reflects improvement in economic governance at provincial level. The weighted PCI score of 2011 for a median province is over 59 points, about one point higher than the previous years 2009 and 2010. Lao Cai province was at the top of rankings of PCI for the first time, followed by Bắc Ninh and Long An provinces. On the other hand, Taiwan province's PCI was at good level despite a three-point decrease. It ranks 57th of the 63 provinces, 15 grades lower than the year 2010. Among the PCI indexes, the market entry index of Taiwan province sets at 9.15 points, equal to Da Nang City, which is ranked top 5 nationwide. Currently, the number of ethnic minority students in boarding schools of Taiwan province makes up 2.8% of its totality which is a low proportion in comparison with the national figure of 5%. Taiwan province is striving to reach the national percentage by the year 2015. To fulfill this task, many resources are being mobilized for a complete infrastructure of the local boarding school system. Effectiveness from the investment on infrastructure can be seen clearly in the provincial boarding school. With a total investment amount of nearly 40 billion Vietnam dong for the program implemented from 2006 to 2011, the current infrastructure of the school has been relatively completed. More than 350 local ethnic minority students are studying in the best of the possible environment. I think that the school infrastructure has been able to meet most of the teaching and studying demand, particularly of a typical mode of education for ethnic minority groups. These positive outcomes resulted from the consideration of the training and education branch. Therefore, training quality has been improved. 
Local ethnic minority students of Dai Tu District have felt happier since the district boarding school is being completed and will be brought into use in the school year 2012-2013. The school, with a total investment amount of nearly 40 billion Vietnam dong, is built to meet the study demands of about 280 local ethnic minority students. Our school was built after the Prime Minister ratified the project of strengthening and developing the boarding school system nationwide. This comes along with the aspiration of the local teachers, students and people of Dai Tu District. Since the year 2006, Thailand province has spent about 160 billion Vietnam dong on infrastructure for local boarding schools, three of which have been brought into use for more than 870 ethnic minority students, occupying 2.8% of the total number of high school and secondary school students. Thailand province is accelerating the construction progress of three boarding schools in Dai Tu, Phu Lương and Dong He districts to increase the proportion of ethnic minority students at local boarding schools by 5% by the year 2015. Up to now, the construction of the boarding schools has been progressing smoothly. The school in Dai Tu district will be completed and started enrolling by the end of 2012. This means that the boarding school system of Thailand province will be completed by 2012. In addition to urging the contractors to boost the progress, the provincial education and training section is arranging the staff for these boarding schools so that they can operate as soon as the infrastructure is completed. Boosting investment on infrastructure for the system of boarding schools reflects the consideration from Taiwan province for the ethnic minority people who live in remote areas with difficulties in life in order to create opportunities for them to strive for a better life. Currently, Fulung has nearly 5,000 poor households, occupying 17% of its total population. For the purpose of gradually decreasing the number of poor households and improving its residents' living standard, together with ensuring social security, Fulung District is concentrating on vocational training and creating jobs for rural laborers. As planned, by 2015, Fulung will reduce the rate of agricultural laborers to 50%, Register change laborers to 30 percent, decrease poor households according to the new standard to 10 percent, and increase the GDP to 28 million Vietnam dong per capita. To reach these goals, Pulung is gradually industrializing agriculture by promoting modern technologies to agricultural laborers, developing handicrafts and craft villages. The district also focuses on handing over science and technology to farmers expanding effective models to improve the production value of an agricultural area. In addition, Fulung encouraged enterprises in processing agricultural and forestry products using the raw materials originated from agriculture. With these innovations, the district hopes to fill up the gap of income and living standards between rural residents and urban ones. In September 2011, the steering committee of the new rural area movement of Ding Hua District, in cooperation with Chung Hội Commune, built a pilot model, the winter tea cultivation group with the application of the automatic watering system at Quỳnh Hội Hamlet. After six months of the implementation, many households have highly appreciated the model, which brought about effectiveness in tea cultivation. The automatic watering system consists of three parts, namely water storage basin, pipe system, and water spray system. Water is led directly to the spray system through the pipe system, which will reduce water loss, maintaining regular humidity, and restrain land erosion. The fixed system can prevent tea buds from breaking up like it did when moving the pipes in the traditional watering system. Seven households in the Hwai have applied this model with a total tea area of nearly one hectare. Each household receive a subsidy of 12 million Vietnam dong, equal to half of the total construction expense. Realizing its effectiveness, 
The Hua district will continue to expand this model to facilitate tea watering by the farmers. And that's all we have for today. Thank you for your company. Goodbye and see you again.